You call yourself a designer or a maker, and you're still cutting your foam core with a pair of scissors? Come on, dude. You actually think this is how you make a compound surface with a piece of foam board? Seriously? All right, let's get real here, folks. Foam core, pro techniques, compound surfaces out of foam board. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. In the first video, we took a look at how to make some basic cubes and learn how to cut foam core. In the second video, we took a look at how to make some radiuses, corners, and cylinders. If you haven't seen those videos, you need to go back and watch that one before you check this one out. Here's some good basic tools that you'll definitely need for this a good steel ruler, some very sharp blades, some white glue, a good cutting board, and of course, some foam core. So as a designer, you want quality stuff, and clearly, that's not quality. Let me show you how you make some nice compound organic surfaces out of foam board. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna make a simple grid square that I can lay a compound surface on top of. And so that's what the first part of this video is about, just creating and laying out this uh, grid uh, out of foam core and I'm slotting the pieces together. Here I'm using a little bit of white glue just to glue everything up. And the beauty of white glue here in this case is that it doesn't just set up instantly like uh, hot glue does. It allows me to square everything up and make it nice and true. And it gives me great strength. So we're gonna take advantage of the properties of foam core. We're gonna make an organic surface, something that you could not do with a piece of paper. Because foam core is a uh, composite material, meaning it has a paper on both sides of a flexible inside, we are gonna score a grid pattern on each side of the foam core and allow the composite structure to become flexible. So we're going to lay out a one centimeter grid and score about halfway through the foam core on the first side of the foam board. We're going to flip the piece over and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, but we're going to offset that grid by five millimeters. That's going to give us this beautiful, flexible surface that's going to give us our organic compound surface capability. I originally developed this technique for a NASCAR team that was looking for a way to patch up holes during a race. It would have been with a different type of material than foam core, but it was a composite. To lay on this structure, we're going to glue on the ends first because I want the edges to be nice and straight and then we're going to do the inside ribs. I know it's a little bit backwards. We're going to hold everything in place with rubber bands and this is what you're going to get in the end a beautiful organic compound surface with foam core and we didn't even use any hot glue if you like the video smash that thumbs up button it really helps the video in the channel don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that you can follow me on twitter facebook and google plus Rock on. Click here to watch some of the other design and making videos that I have. If you'd like to have your music featured in one of my videos, drop me a line.